Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out saying, Hey, how do I make a bevel on a curve that is shaped like a cross? Friends, I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so these are not the exact dimensions, but this is the idea of what the user is creating. It is going to be the chassis for a quadcopter, and this beveled corner was the problem they were trying to solve. I could not. So the strategy I came up with was to use the bent pipe. I've got it set for circle and circle. I chose to make mine three millimeters wide. So that means when I did my pipe, I made the outer width three. The inside doesn't matter because I want it to be filled. So I just left it three. For these corners, I chose an arc diameter of five. I chose a bend angle of 90. And as you can see, that wraps around pretty good. There's a small gap here, and I'll show you how I'm going to fix that in a minute. When I clicked on these pieces, I'm doing four to get around each shape. And you can see here these intersect. It's not going to be a problem when they group. They will still look nice and nifty. You can see there that makes a nice beveled shape. So I'm going to ungroup that, and let me explain how I figured this out. So once I had these numbers, 3, 3, 5, 90, then I changed the lead in and lead out to make them work. So by keeping the lead in 10 and 5, I can tell which side I'm adjusting. So this 10, you can see it's too long, so I can really change it to 9, and it'll back up, and I can get it close to the right size. I just did this all the way around the shape, and then I used control D to dunge to the other spot. I'm going to pull this out the other way and then I did mirror to flip it so it looked like this. Now that I've got the entire shape set up this way, I'm going to hide these pieces with control H and control H and then I'm just going to take this whole design and do control D. I'm going to do shift nudge because I've got my nudge set to point one and I'm going to mirror it as well. Once again, I can spread that out. I'm going to go a little past what I need. When I do show all, I can now bring it back in. And then I will just take those little nudges and see if I can get them to the exact spot I want them. I think this is the 10 and this is the 7, but here's how I'm going to check it. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to change this to 12 and wait a moment to see if this is the end that extends. It was. If I take this one and also change it to 12, you will see that those now connect. And then down here, I'm going to adjust these to 12, press enter. And I'll do 12 and press enter. And then you just have to wait for it to render. Friends, I'm going to zip in here. Let's go to this corner. I'm going to do F to fit view. I'm going to click on this piece right here and do control D. I'm going to take its black handle and I'm going to shrink it down so it's smaller. And I'm going to nudge it into that area where I want that to be filled in. And this is just something you can explore as you're trying to get it to the exact way you want it. You may want to do two of these separate. Matter of fact, I'm going to try that real quick. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees-ish. And I'm going to drop it right in there. I think that's going to look cooler. I'm going to do Control D, Shift Nudge to move it over. Because once again, I'm still using the point one nudge. Let's do a mirror. And then I can nudge that into that corner. And I think that, when it groups, is going to be pretty darn nifty. Friends, before I group this, I do want to let you know, on these rectangles, I did a radius of 1.5 and steps of 10 so that it merges pretty decent. Let's check out the final project. Of course, whenever you're combining something like this, you do have to be patient. But that, my friends, is a pretty sweet beveled chassis for a quadcopter. Friends, I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.